Women have a really important role in the digital revolution, but I think they've been written out of history a little bit too much. It starts with Ada Lovelace, the person who works with Charles Babbage to figure out that his calculating machine that does numbers can actually do anything. It can do music, it can do word processing, it can weave beautiful patterns, as she said, anything that can be noted symbolically. The women of the digital revolution were often interested more in the software, in the math. So throughout the digital revolution, you see a lot of women being in charge of the programming. One of my favorites is Grace Hopper. Grace Hopper worked up at Harvard with uh, Howard Aiken, who created the Mark I. She helps do the programming for that machine. And then she moves over to the team that created ENIAC, which was turning out a, com a commercial computer called Univac and uh, Grace Hopper, and a team of women working collaboratively, sort of sharing, almost like in an open source way, create COBOL, which is one of the first programming languages for business computers. And let me add something personal. I was first turned on to the role of Ada Lovelace and women in computing by my daughter. So, you know, she was in high school, and she loved math, and she loved computer science. She was applying to college, and she wrote about Ada Lovelace, and she wrote about Grace Hopper. And so it was through her eyes, and now she's involved in technology writing and computers, it was through her eyes that I saw the role of the women in computing.